rap is that y'all talk one on one? What your campus life about? Got the cues hopping out and the red setting out. New stroll signals walking, campus popping pretty off the SGA debate. Who next in the presidential office? How would the Hampton Union and A and T? Have time gon' be live, drum line provide the beat. Told you nation has my heart and you just wouldn't understand to the universities all across the land. Delaware State University. Its main campus is 360 acres. We also have two farm properties. We also have a, a location in Wilmington, and we also offer classes in Cessus County. Whereas we started off with seven students, uh, now we have an enrollment population as of last year of 4,644 students. So there have been great growth here at Delaware State University. <laughs>
Hey, well, there you have it. Miss Tanya, color run, color my college, Delaware State. Hey, it's coming to a college near you. Trust me, all right? Y'all talk, y'all talk, y'all talk. Well, Jerome Holland, he was our sixth president. He was president from 1953 to 1960. And his tenure coincided with the most troubling period of Delaware State University's history. It was then known as Delaware State College. And uh, there were forces in play to try to close this down. In the state legislature, uh, you know, forces in the community. Uh, and it took the leadership of Jerome Holland to navigate us through that period. And he navigated us through that period and where it looked like we were headed towards closure. By the time his tenure ended, we were headed towards prosperity. <laughs> What's up, Yard Talk? I'm with the next level. Now, what is the next level? That is the name, the theme of this year's Student Government Association here at the Delaware State University. Isaiah, talk to me. Why do you label you guys as the next level? Next level, next level is not just a name. Next level is you're taking your first performance to the next level in anything you do. So if you're in the classroom, you're taking that to the next level. If you're an athlete, you're taking that performance to the next level. If you're going to an event, you're going to socialize, you're taking that to the next level. So anything you do, it's about going to that next level and taking that next step. Okay, okay, I see you just trying to take people from here to here. Right. Okay, yeah. I'm with you, I'm <laughs> with you. What's next, Fast year? Right now, we working on homecoming. So homecoming is from October 18th to the 25th. The theme this year is epic. And trust me, it's gonna be epic. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So what, what can we expect from SGA after homecoming? Well, you see, after homecoming, we got a couple of events in store. I can't give you too much detail, but we got some DJ battles coming up, a couple of parties, got a nice little mix. Okay, you know. okay. Working on fostering our HBCUs together. Okay, now what do you mean by that? Uh, basically having like a couple of Unity events, bringing a couple of different schools around the area together and doing something together. Okay, okay. Sound like y'all trying to have that unity. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So campus pride here. I've been here. It seemed like it's, 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 a, it's a nice little mm -hmm. environment. You know, kind of talk to me about, you know, campus pride and what y'all want to do. All right, so I'm the recorder secretary and I work hand in hand with the diehards. And being here, like, we have school spirit, but not where it should be. Okay. And like he said, we're taking everything to the next level. Okay. So this year, it's, it's the football games, all the volleyball games, basketball games, soccer games, it's going to be lit. Oh. Questioning team, all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're trying to take <laughs> yeah, question team. We're one of the only HBCUs that alone schools in the nation that have a questioning team. So we're gonna go support them as well. Oh, that's 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 amazing. You gotta do that. Yeah, you gotta I, actually what Mr. Delaware State is the first international. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So y'all y'all taking a yeah. lot to the next level right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, but y'all talk, that's it with the next level, and you can see why they're called the next level, all right? Y'all talk, y'all talk, y'all talk. Yeah. Y all talk. Lockerman Hall is the only building on this campus that actually existed when we started. As a matter of fact, Lockerman Hall has existed since the late 1700s. And Lockerman Hall served essentially for everything on this campus throughout the first 60 years of this institution's existence. Classes were taught there, uh, people slept there, people ate there, food was cooked there. Everything took place there. Y'all talk, y'all talk, y'all talk. What's up, Yard Talk? I'm here with Kareem and Sabrina, Mr. and Miss Freshman here at Delaware State University. Yo, Kareem, tell me how it feels about to, how it feels to be on Royal Court. Being on the Royal Court, it's just a it's a great experience. Like you with people. That's, that's doing good things, people older than you, mentoring you, telling you how to do this and how to do that. It's, a, it's just a great experience. And plus, you're not only a freshman, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a higher position now. So you're showing your freshman class that it's not only good to be in college, but to do things, to, to, to get out there and network and, and be a better person. So it's, it's, it's definitely a great experience being in the Royal Court. Okay, okay. And Sabrina, talk to the viewers a little bit about how it feels to be in college, finally as a freshman. So, you know, being a freshman in college, at first you're kind of a little bit nervous because it's like a whole different, like, setting. College and high school is totally different, but it is a great experience. Like, I definitely recommend everyone to, like, go away because it's a different type of experience from when you're at home and then when you're away, you get a little bit of feel of how it is to be on your own. And, you know, it's just a good experience. So I definitely recommend it to everybody. Okay. okay. And as you can see, 
they're doing their thing as Mr. and Miss Freshman. Hey, but stay in school, come to school, and let's have fun. All right, yo, it's Yard Talk. Go DSU. Hey, hey, hey. Horny Nation, we out here. All right, so I'm here with Taylor. We here at the game. You know, Horny Nation is out here. Yo, Taylor, it's first home game. How you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, everybody came out in they red to support the boys. Um, I'm feeling good. Everybody showing their support. Okay. Okay. Do you come to games often? Yes, I do. I have a couple friends on the team. Shout out to 717, Eris, number seven. Hey, see, look, look, she know players for real. She wasn't just playing. Hey, but look, you see we out here, the crowd behind us. It's Hornet Nation. First home game, all right? What's up, Yard Talk? I'm here with two of the most important students on this campus. I have the God Fairy, Miss Delaware State University, Miss Tria Stallings, and I have the Mr. Trent Setter himself, first international Mr. Delaware State University, Mr. Air Tennessee. So, Air, what can we expect from you this year? As you know, action speaks louder than voice. I'm not going to say too much. But to summarize everything, we're about to set positive example and inspire every male and female on this campus and set and be that example, that role model that everybody will compete from. Okay, okay. Now, Tria, yes. I understand that it's just September, mm -hmm. but you've already been impacting the university, yep. right? How have you done it already, and what's next? Okay, basically, um, the first program that me and my queens had was called the Journey Before the Queendom. Okay. So it was an opportunity for us to share our testimonies and really get to know, you know, the students on campus. And then previously, last week, I had a, um, a program about sexual assault, domestic violence, um, like texting while driving, just some things that I felt like the queens need to know on campus. So. It's going to be a lot more coming. Okay, sounds like y'all been impacting lives here already, impacting these Hornet lives, Hornet Nation, Hornet Nation. Coronation's coming up. How you feeling? I feel all, I feel amazing. Like, it's words can't express how I feel. We're going to bring a lot of things to Coronation this year that Del State has never seen before, so just stay tuned. I'm not going to say too much. All right, hey, as you see, there are people of many talents, many actions, and few words. Yo, I'm here at Delaware State University with Miss and Mr. Delaware State University. Yo, y'all talk, stay tuned, all right? Y'all talk, y'all talk, y'all talk. And there you have it, the Delaware State University, where it's the home of the Hornets, all right? And this has been fun today. We've shown you the color run, SGA, Royal Court, even the first home game. As you can see, the school pride here at Delaware State University, it's like that, all right? But until next time, it's your boy, Jalil, and this is Yard Talk 101, your source for news, events, and the overall scoop of the yard, all right? And remember, chase your dreams or watch someone else live them. Peace. Do you want your school featured on Yard Talk? Contact us on social media at Yard Talk 101 or email us at yardtalk101 at gmail.com.